Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in this video, we're going to learn how to share data between the fragments and the host activity using shared view model, right? So what does that mean that if you have an activity that hosts uh, various fragments and you want to share the data between the activity and those fragments using view model, right? Shared view model, then how to implement that? So in case you do not know what are fragments, how to implement them, I already have a video on that. You can just check out that video before going further by clicking on this I button. So let me just give you a brief demonstration of what you can get by the end of this video. So if you can see on my mobile screen, I have this activity and inside this on the upper half, I have one fragment one. And if I just change it, I have another fragment. So basically this activity hosts two fragments. Now I want to send data from these fragments to the activity, right? So if you can see inside this fragment one, we have this edit text. So if I just uh, put anything like uh, send. So for instance, I have uh, written send data to activity. If I just tap on this button, you can see here the text view inside the activity has been changed so that data has been sent to this activity and similarly we can send data from fragment 2 as well so we'll be learning that if you want to implement the same to your android application make sure you watch this video till the end so without much ado let's get started So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for saving the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So before uh, going for the coding part, let me just demonstrate that how the thing's going to work. So if I just come here, so you can see we have a view model here, right? This view model will be a uh, will act as a center authority that will be responsible for sharing data between the fragments and the activity. So we have fragment one and fragment two, right? Fragment A and fragment B. So these fragment will write the data to the view model, right? And similarly, the fragment B will write the data to this view model as well. The main activity have a listener on this view model. What does a listener means? That any if there is any change in the view model, the data of the view model, right? This live listener will be triggered. A callback function will be called, right? Then the main activity will know that there, there is some change in the data. So it will listen to that change and do the required actions in the main activity. So this is how things going to work. Now let us just go to our Android Studio. So uh, we already have implementation of fragments, right? So if you want to see this, you can check out the previous video of this playlist. Now let us just do some modification in here. So for example, now this uh, fragment thing is occupying a lot of space. So let us just uh, make it 400 maybe. Yeah, perfect. And we need to do some changes in here as well. So for instance, the margin top for this will be 200 TP and similarly we'll do that for fragment 2 as well, right? And one more thing we're going to do is we are going to implement a text view inside this main activity to show the data that we are receiving from the fragments. Okay, we have uh, got this text view inside our main activity. Basically, we'll be changing this text view, right? Uh, whenever we are saving the data from the fragments. Now, let us just go to the backend code. So, uh, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new class for the view model. So, let me just right click here. Java class. So, let me just name it as item view model, right? Now this class will extend. Don't worry about this pop up. It is just that I have hosted this project on GitHub. That's why we're get, getting this pop, pop up, right? So, okay, this class needs to extend view model. So that will make it a view model class, right? Now we are going to 
declare a variable So okay, we have created the object of mutable live data class. So what does this mutable live data means? That means uh, this particular item can be changed, right? Mutable. And this is a live data. That means any change in this will trigger a callback function that will let us know that some data has been changed inside this object, right? The type of this is string. You can uh, just modify it according to your application, right? For this tutorial sake, I'm taking the type as string here. So after that, we are going to create a method set data, right? This method will be used to set the data inside this. So it will take one argument that is a uh, string, right? The data we want to write. So we'll pass item here and the another method. So this particular method will be called uh, to get the item from this view model right so it will return the live data and type of which will be string so that is pretty much everything we need to do inside this view model class right now we'll just go to our main activity so here we want to receive the data right so the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to refer to the text view that we have just created And we are going to create a reference variable for our uh, view model class so item view model so let us just write the logic for saving the data So okay, we have got the instance of this view model class, right? Then we have attached the observer on this, right? So this is the way we attach our observer to a view model class. Now this this particular method will be called once there is a change in the data. Any change in the data, this method will be invoked inside main activity. Now what we want to do when this particular method is called, we want to change this particular text view, right? So we'll do that. right we have set the text now we'll just go going to implement this logic in fragment one that means we should write the data to this new model class whenever the user taps on this fragment button the button that is there in the fragment so when user taps on this the data should be written to the view model class right so for that uh, i guess we are going to override the method here on view created right and let us just let us just comment this out because we are not going to use the result api oh so let us just declare a reference variable for view model class right and first we are going to create an instance of it So okay guys we have just got the instance of this view model class right this particular view model class then we have referred to the button that is there inside the fragment then we have set the on click listener so once the user tap on that button we'll call this particular method set data that will set the data inside this right selected item so we have called this method here view model dot set data and we have passed the data that has been typed inside the string right and similar thing we need to do inside the fragment 2 class so let me just copy this to save some time so if i just copy it i 
and let me just paste it here and let us just uh, comment this thing out till here right uh, if, if you're just watching this story for the first time you might not have this code right then you can uh, do this and let me copy this as well so here uh, we have to change two things we have to refer to the second button and here as well right so we have done similar thing with fragment 2 as well we have referred to the button of the second fragment and we have got the data of the second edit text right so that is pretty much everything we need to do to implement this feature now let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right so guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen now if i just type in some data here okay if i just tap on this button you can see we have got the data inside this activity right if we just go to fragment 2 type something here if i just tap on this you can see we are observing the data in real time so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application and i also hope that you guys have understood the code in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on the screen right now and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see another video bye